Hello everyone. So, without being given a graph, what we are asked to do is find points on the graphs of these various functions. So, suppose q is a function such that q of 3 is 14. And remember, this would be like, you know, q of x equals your y value. So from this, we can tell that we have the point 3 in the x gives us a value of 14 as our y value of the coordinate point. So now let's look at some of these other functions. So name one point on the graph of y equals 5 times q of x. Okay. Well, we know some of these values of q of x. Well, we know one of them, right? So what I'm going to do is say y equals 5 times the value we know, which is q of 3. q of 3, we have already figured out, is 14. And then 5 times 14 is 70, 50, and 20. So what is a point that's going to be located on f of q of x? That would be the point um, 3, comma, 70. All right, now let's look at part B. Part B states to name one point on the graph of y equals q of x plus 5. Sure. So, I'll do this part in blue. We have y equals, and we know to one point, q of 3 plus 5. q of 3 being 14 plus our 5 gives us the 19. So, our point is going to be 3, comma, 19. All right. For the next one, we have y equals q of x plus 5. Now, what this is really asking us is that we want the appropriate um, x value so that we will return to this q of 3. Now what do I mean by that? Well, let's consider, um, you know, what number, if I plugged in for x here, would result in 3 as my input into the function? Well, let's try y equals q of, well, negative 2 plus 5 would certainly give me a 3. Now this would be my x value, negative 2. But if I simplify this, I will get q of 3, which indeed equals 14. So my point that I'm going to be using is this negative 2, comma, 14. Not 314, but negative 2, since that's what I plugged in as my x value. And then we have y equals q of x over 5. And again, I want that to become a 3. So, let's see. y equals q of what over 5 is going to make this all result to reduce down to a 3. What can I plug in for x? Well, 15 divided by 5 results in a 3. 15 divided by 5 is 3, which gives us our nice output of 14. So, lastly, my point is uh, we plugged in a 15, and we got our 14 as the output. And that is it to this problem.